GG9909, after many months on mostly whole food plant-based nutrition, my LDL went from 53 down to 40 LDL. Is it possible to have too low of an LDL or no matter of concern? For the latest in health-related information and ways to save your life, check out the newsletter. Thank you. That's a very big question and it's a very big debate. People are as emotional over that debate and they're all as big an expert and know as much about it as the diet debate. You know, where do you get your macros from? Do you get them from animal products? Do you get them from whole foods? Do you get them from paleo? Do you get them from plant? Major emotion, major unending self-appointed experts. Here's the thing. There's two sides to this issue. You know, there are people like like Amir, uh, what's his name, who say, no, no, you've got to have higher levels of LDL. And I think there's some validity. For the most part, though, it's talking about some studies where people had unhealthy reasons for lower LDLs. And he's clearly not talking about people with FH and LDL levels of three and 500. Now, people that have lean mass hyper response, yeah, they can have those high levels of LDL and still be very healthy. So as you see, this starts to get really complicated. Let me add a Another complication factor, a lot of the guys, I think the name was the Furrier Trials, where they were using a lot of the PCSK9s and they were getting the LDLs down into the 20s. And they said, hey, you know, we've got evidence. We actually got LDLs into the 20s and it didn't cause the concerns that a lot of people talked about. And in fact, we think it was healthy. I looked at the details on that study and I don't see how in the heck they could make that conclusion out of the data that they got. I feel very strongly, as you might see, that they had that preconceived notion. They got a few cases. The few cases that they had in the 20s didn't have a heart attack or didn't have brain fog or report it. So they said, we just proved it. No, they didn't. My perception of the bottom line is that there's not enough evidence to know conclusively. I personally am not worried about LDLs in the 120s. I'm not really that worried about LDLs below 70. I don't try to get LDLs below 70. I'm more concerned about what I've mentioned multiple times, the inflammation associated with too much insulin and too high a glucose. I'm not worried so much about what's in the bloodstream in terms of LDL levels. I'm worried about what's protecting the arterial wall, the intima. And what protects that intima is the glycocalyx. And what damages the glycocalyx is not LDL. It's glucose, hyperglycemia, probably 140 or higher, hour after hour, day after day. <laughs>